Hi guys, Glader here. So today I'm here with another video for the Spyro and Unity 3D video series. If you haven't seen the other videos, there's a link in the description to the playlist. You should probably go watch them because it'll be cool to see the progression of these tools, which are open source and you can use to bring Spyro stuff into Unity. And today, cool, this is going to be amazing. This video, if you haven't guessed by the title, is about HD textures. And I really mean HD the textures. They aren't on yet, so don't don't judge these. These are this is um what you see in in game in the spiral world viewer and stuff like that. And this is what it looks like when you first bring it in. A few days ago, I'm gonna try to move quick because I want you guys to see this. Trust me, you're not gonna want to miss this. Uh the other day we figured out how to apply some filtering and it wasn't just as easy as typing the one key. There was some work behind that. <laughs> <laughs> but go watch the video on that if you missed it. But even then, you zoom in and it's still blurry. Here's what it looks like disabled. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything, or at least a few things. Yeah, that looks very blurry. Very blurry. Um, let me turn this down a bit so I stop lagging. Yeah, there we go. Very blurry. Yeah, everything's just blurry. And we enable it. And it's still, I meant pixelated. This is blurry, but it's its better than being pixelated, the texture filtering. So, we I made a substantial improvement on that. In fact, I'm about to show you it, and it's going to be shocking. And I don't think anyone's done this before. But let me describe a little bit the numbers behind this. This is from the PlayStation 1. These, this texture atlas uses... 64 by 64 texture tiles. It's very small if you don't know. That's PlayStation 1 stuff. What I'm about to show you are 512 by 512 textures. Uh, let's switch back to pixelated so you get the greatest. You get a really powerful change. Um, and the texture memory required exceeds the both the uh, RAM and video or GPU RAM of the PlayStation 2. So we're talking a pretty significant increase in quality that you're about to see. I know it'll take it a bit long, but it's going to be worth it. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. So I'm going to set this to our 512 by 512 texture array. And you're about to see something crazy. Let me get that lined up. Here we go. You ready? Let's go HD. Boom. Look at that. Let me switch back. Pixels, it looks like crap. You, you come in, it looks bad. And then boom, wow. That is amazing, in my opinion. Let's check out, check out these tree leaves over here. We'll call pixelated. Wow, now they look good. It actually preserves the hand-painted style quite well. So, pixelated, HD. It looks really cool. You can even see it's got that occlusion. It, it even upscaled that occlusion. Let's take a look at this. This is what it looks like on PlayStation 1. This is what it looks like now with 512 by 512 textures. Let's go over here, actually. And... It's what it looks like all pixelated, very pixelated. Boom. You know, you can fly around anywhere and it you'll be amazed at what you see. It's it's incredible, I think. Yeah, you know, I'm really satisfied with this. I think it's really neat, and I hope you guys are too. There's gonna be a build in the description. I'm gonna upload this one as well. It's gonna be called HD. There's going to be the old version as well, so don't download that if you're interested. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This could be taken further, um, although you do, although it looks a little bit weird as you go further, because if you want to go further, you have to do a slightly different algorithm. And let me just go ahead and show you the atlasing tools uh, real quick. Uh, there's a new, new little tab for that. You can split the atlas here. And then you can import new atlases and generate the texture array. That means you can like substitute textures easily, modify them stuff, and then 
generate the texture array. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, HD textures with some pretty pretty amazing detail, and I didn't make these by hand. This is all upscaled. And there's gonna I'm gonna have a video on how you use these new tools and how you can do it, and you'll be able to do it for every map. And those tools are gonna be included. They're open source on the repository. Check the description. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry I sounded so excited, but I just can't believe how good this turned out. See you guys in the next video.